A South African listener sent us this question. Could you explain 1 Samuel chapter 16, verses 14 through 16? How could God send an evil spirit to Saul? Well, may I say to you that it reads, But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And I think you to understand that as long as God's Spirit was in Saul, an evil spirit could not enter at all. Now God takes his spirit from him, and that is the grounds on which God let an evil spirit come upon him. It wasn't that God sent it, but the evil spirit, I think, was waiting outside the door to enter, but he couldn't as long as God's spirit was there. And I think we're to understand it like that. And let me continue to read. It says, how can the evil spirit come from God? Well, he didn't come from God. He was already out there ready to enter. Because when we read the scripture, it says that the Holy Spirit comes from God. And that, of course, is true. He is the third person of the Godhead. Only the evil spirit comes from the devil. And certainly that's true. I understand that Saul was the king of Israelites by that time, and he committed sins before God. But if it was temptation from God, 1 Corinthians 10, 13 says, it's not the temptation which comes from God. No, it wasn't that God tempted him in the sense that you and I understand temptation at all. He just permitted this man Saul to go the way that he wanted to go, which was not God's way. And it says, except if it be the will of God, as it happened to Abraham when God ordered him to sacrifice his son Isaac. But you see, God did not permit him to sacrifice his son Isaac. Why? Because it's wrong. But when we read in James 1.13, it reads, For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. And that is still true in all this historical record that you have called our attention to. It still can be said that God doesn't tempt anyone, and it wasn't a temptation that he gave to Saul at all. Now, what does this portion mean by the evil spirit which is said to come from God. It came from God in the sense God removed his spirit from him. God didn't hinder the evil spirit from entering. And in that sense, it was permitted of God. And the language gives you the impression. I can see that. Your interpretation is that God just sent an a evil spirit purposely for this. Well, I don't think he needed to send an evil spirit. Evil spirit was there waiting all the time and waiting to move in and take possession.